exciting thing that we are launching starting this week is an AIR program, Artists in Residence. This program is an exciting way to operate this glass studio. We will have two talented artists per year that will be coming in, working in the glass studio. Um, just incredibly talented people that we'll be seeking from around the country, regionally and around the country. Um, the artists will bring new classes, techniques, educational opportunities, and new glass artwork to the works and for visitors. The selection process for this artist in residency program will be very rigorous, um, and each of the artists will be hand selected. They will be featured here, living here on site on First Street in our artist in residence house. They will be here for four months at a time, uh, living, working with us in the studio, round the clock, out in the community, teaching classes. Um, they'll be showing their real particular expertise. We're always looking for artists with very different ideas. Aaron has been doing this in the time that he's been here. He has been annually bringing in artists and residents that bring new and different ideas to our community. Um, one of the important things is that the first artist in residence we selected was based on her ability to blow Venetian glass and goblets and she will be featured at our hats off on October 2nd so I hope you'll all be there for that event. Venetia Holiday. This is how the glass program is going to work. In January, the glass studio will be open for jewelry and clay classes and some um, hand glass work. February through May will be an artist in residence living and working here. In June, we will have specialty camps like the one Erin's going to be running today with our Hot Shop Scholars, where a young artist is selected throughout Licking County through the uh, Nicholas Weingarter Scholarship Fund, where they work one-on-one -on -one with an artist all week and Damien. This is his first day working with Aaron in the glass studio. He'll be here all week learning the art of glass from a master. On uh, July and August, we will be taking a hiatus in the glass studio. This is a time when it's so hot. A lot of times we've had to shut the studio down, just sheer heat. If you see how cool it is today and you step in there, it's probably close to 100 degrees already. And it's just, it's miserable some of the days. So we'll be shutting the glass studio down for repair, maintenance. We will be teaching art classes through our art camp program with Ms. Grimes over there. And then in September, we will launch our next artist residence. And that artist will be here from September to December. Uh, our first glass artist is Erin Bessler. She uh, will begin the 1st of September. She has an extensive background in glass blowing, uh, instructional workshops, works of art glass for display and for sale. She's a 2009 graduate of Columbus College of Art and Design. And she acted as the lead gaffer at the manager instructor for Crystal Traditions, which is a glass studio located in Tiffin, Ohio. And as I said, she will be our featured artist this fall. Aaron, Aaron Buchholz has been the glass blower. He and I started together here nine years ago. Um, and he has been just a tra tradition here at the works. What Aaron will be doing is opening his own glass studio and taking his glass to a whole new level. Um, we are excited for him. We know we'll be partnering with him in the future and teaching classes, having him here for shows in the gallery, along with Short North, all the other areas that represent Aaron's work. Uh, we're very excited for Aaron and the future for him. We're excited about this direction for our studio. And what I'd like to do now is open this up to questions. Aaron will answer questions. I will answer questions for you.